guys, it's June favourites time, so now I'm going to show you the products that I could not stop using throughout June, and there are quite a few, and I've had a new, a few new finds um, that I need to tell you about, and some are old favourites. This one was in my last month's May favourites video, or I've got the wire caught in between my toes, um, down here, and um, it is a heated, it's like a blow dryer within a brush, and um, it has a spinning brush, and you basically, well I kind of explained it in my last month's favourite video but I blow dried my hair with it today and it gave me a really nice effect and I only did a few pieces, you can do your whole head using this and it looks really really good Oh I have to just say another favourite for June is um, just looking tanned so having tanned skin all the time and I'm using Sienna X on my body and Zen Tan on my face to keep being tanned which I really really like Okay, now shampoo and conditioner. I've discovered a new shampoo and conditioner and they have literally changed my life. Um, I, I try so many products that when I try a product I'm not necessarily expecting every single product to be amazing. But I tried out the Shuramura Volume Shampoo and Conditioner, like how amazing is the packaging. Um, so I tried these out and I tried the shampoo first, I actually got the conditioner a couple of days after when I realised how much I liked the shampoo. Um, so I first tried out the shampoo and just used whatever conditioner was in my shower with it. And I blow dried my hair, used my babbleless big hair and I was just like, my hair feels like somebody else's hair, it's amazing. It literally leaves my hair feeling really light. Like my hair usually feels quite weighed down, but it leaves it feeling really light and volumised and I find that I don't have to wash my hair for like, like five days, I literally left it like five days, that's pushing it for me. Um, but that's how great the shampoo and conditioner are, really really happy with them and yeah, I could not say enough good things. Now they are super super expensive, but I really really think that with this product you're getting what you're paying for, it's amazing. Next hair is the L'Oreal Professional um, Volume Techni Art, I think it's called, um, mousse. And you can get this in all different strengths, and I have strength 4, it says on the bottle there. And this mousse smells gorgeous, it's really lightweight, non-sticky, and I've just got that. I use the Shuramura Shampoo and Conditioner, and then I use the mousse kind of through this area, kind of down to about here in my hair, and then blow dried it. And I'm loving that mousse. I really needed a new mousse as well because I only have my Tresemme one. I don't think I have another mousse. Oh, I have the Kevin Murphy one, but I don't use that very much. Um, okay, next favourite. Now this is quite a new discovery. I started. I had a travel size of this. This is the Elemis Spa Home Skin Nourishing Shower Cream. Looks like that. And I had a little sample from like a travel pack of this. And I was like, oh my god, it's so gorgeous, I really need to get the full size one. If you like a really clean, um, kind of talcum powder smell, like it's not at all fruity or spicy or anything like that, it's literally the cleanest smell and I really, really am a fan of that smell. Oh, I'm just going to pop in the middle some other favourites that are not beauty related. Well, I guess they kind of are because I get beauty inspiration um, from them and that is the TV show Gossip Girl. I absolutely adore Gossip Girl, I love watching it because I love watching the fashion and the um, makeup in the show and Serena van der Woodson is just pretty much amazing. My boyfriend Jim bought me the box set of Gossip Girl and I've been watching it so much lately. And the other TV show I've been loving is the reality TV show Made in Chelsea and that's actually just finished now but there's more coming in like September. And I was really lucky that the other day I actually got to work um, I was filming on set with L'Oreal um, and you can see what I'm doing with them on likeyourstyle.tv I think. Um, and they had a hair model in and the hair model they had in was Millie McIntosh from Made in Chelsea. And I was over the moon to meet her because I love watching the show and she's one of my favourite characters. If you follow me on Twitter you will have seen me tweet about her before because I think she's gorgeous. I told Millie about my video so hi Millie if you're watching and it was lovely to meet you. Okay next item is a bit gross and I don't really want to show you it just because it might have my hairs in it but this is my razor that's all I'm going to show you of it but it's literally um, a Venus razor and the one that it is is called the Venus Breeze and it's pale pink I'm going to show you it again which I love and um, it's really really gentle because it has these little um, bits either side of the blade and they're kind of, it feels like a bar of soap and then they lather up when, you're, when you shave 
so you kind of don't even need to soap up before you put before you use the razor and it's just really soft and gentle and I found I've been using some Bic razors and I've been cutting my legs quite a lot um, using Bic so um, so I switched to the Venus Breeze and I'm just really really loving it and appreciating a nice um, more, slightly more expensive razor so I had to throw that in there oh I forgot I forgot a couple of hair items two more hair items I've been loving now, you all know that I love Moroccan oil, but I've said before in my videos that the one thing I can't stand about it is the smell. It really makes me feel sick. Um, I hate to say that about products, but the Moroccan oil does make me feel sick. So, I tried out the Kerastas one, and I've only used this, like you can see I haven't used much of it yet. But um, I've used this like four or five, maybe six times, and um, it's the Elixir oil and it smells beautiful and it works just as well as the Moroccan oil so I will be switching to this but I still love the Moroccan oil I just can't bear the smell so I probably will give that to someone else and switch to this because it does the exact same job um, as the Moroccan oil but it smells good so I'm onto this now next now this is such a cute little um, package it's from L'Oreal Professional again and it's the Playball Beach Fizz and it smells like coconuts, it smells like holidays and you literally, I'm going to spray some in now because my hair is really clean and just washed so it needs some messiness to it it's a salt spray that adds, adds texture to your hair it smells really really good so if your hair has got that oh, just cleaned um, feeling to it oh, I just got it on my tongue, I always do that so if your hair has that just cleaned feeling to it and you need um it to have a little bit more texture then just spray some of this in, you can literally keep it in your handbag and spray it in your hair all day and it gives it some lovely texture so I've, li I've been using this kind of like throughout the day and I have kept it in my handbag a few times so that is, oh I wrote about this on my blog as well, on my blog which is tanyabird.co.uk and um, I'll put the link in the description box to my blog and I did an in and out post which means like what's in in your life at the moment and what are you kind of fed up of at the moment and um, I had the L'Oreal, what's it called, Playball Beach Fitters in my in section of that telling people how much I liked it okay I'll try and wrap this up because the video is getting kind of long I have changed my brow product. I've been using the Clinique brow pencil for god knows how long and then I was looking at me in pictures and I kept thinking that my brows looked kind of not right so I wanted to switch it up for a while and so I've been using this MAC eyeshadow in the colour charcoal brown. It's a really really great kind of warm brown which is good for me with my kind of warm coloured hair and I have that on my brows now and I'm really really loving using this so I think the foreseeable future I'm going to be using MAC Charcoal Brown on my brows and I just use an angled brush just to brush that into my eyebrows. It looks really natural too. Okay, foundation routine is still the same with the Gemma Kid Light As Air foundation. It's absolutely gorgeous and you all ask what I've got on my skin and it's nearly always this. So Gemma Kid Light As Air. But I've also been using the Estee Lauder, sorry my bottle's so gross and disgusting, covered in makeup, but my Estee Lauder Daywear Plus sheer tint release underneath that this is like a moisturizer with tint so it gives you a bit more color and um i use this in the mornings to moisturize and then put my foundation over the top and i find it goes on smoother and just looks glowier and healthier throughout the day don't use that underneath if you have oily skin though where it will make your foundation not last i think okay only four products left <laughs> i promise to hurry through this video a bit faster I don't actually know how long it's going to be when I edit this, it might only be like 5 minutes, but it could be like 15. I hope it's not 15, I might bore you guys. Okay, so, you all know that I was loving, well, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I've loved it, I've, la, 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 I've been loving the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, which is a tiny little one that's designed just for bottom eyelashes. Now, mine ran out, and... I couldn't be willing to go and buy a new one. So I looked through my mascaras and I found the Clinique Lash Power, which has the same kind of ingredients as the bottom lash mascara, as in it will it's a tubing mascara that will only come off if you get warm water and kind of massage with your fingers the warm water into the mascara and it comes off really, really easily. But it lasts all day with no smudging underneath the eyes. So on my top lashes I've been using my Bourjois Volumizer mascara as usual, and on my bottom lashes I've been using the Clinique Lash Power which also has a tiny ickle wand 
which is really handy for doing bottom eyelashes. So, big thumbs up for the Clinique Lash Power. Um, next has to be my Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner. I don't know why I bothered to undo that for you. Um, just the Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner. Um, I've used this for like, I don't know, like four or five years now and I wear it every single day and on, along my top lashes and I would not be seen without it. Well actually I probably would, but I love to wear it every day. Last but not least is two blushes and one may have been in last month's favourites, I can't remember, but I've used it every single day all month and this is NARS Deep Throat Blush, it's just a really pretty pink. And also, this is the blush I have on today, and I only had this in like the last week, but I've worn it loads, and it is, what's it called, Laid by Illamasqua, and it's a cream blush, and the colour is just perfect, it's very similar on to the NARS Deep Throat, I'm wearing it now, and the only problem is I find cream blushes don't blend so well, like on top of my makeup, um, so I don't know if any of you have any tips for that for me. Um, always loving to share makeup tips so comment below if you know of any ways to make the Illamasqua blushes like blend nicely onto my skin because I struggle with that but I love my NARS Deep Throat one and the colour of this is just gorgeous and the texture of the Illamasqua blush is just creamy and light and just so so lovely. That was my beauty roundup for June and I'm really excited to go into July I'm hoping for some really beautiful weather and yep don't think I have anything else to say so I will see you all again next time. Bye.